Hamel in Tokyo, Tokyo, the most shocking thing is for me to be employed by Star Wars again, Mark Hamill said. Who knew there was a Jedi pension plan? He was discussing the rumors behind Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Hamill, after all, became one of cinema's greatest icons when he played Jedi Luke Skywalker in the first three Star Wars films. After 1983's Star Wars, Episode VI Return of the Jedi, Hamill built a career most as a sought-after voice actor, providing, notably, the voice of the Joker in various Batman animated series. But it would be 32 years before Hamill returned as Luke in 2015's Star Wars, Episode VII, The Force Awakens. For Hamill, it is all an adventure, especially since he wasn't sure he would get the part from the beginning. Hamill had been unsuccessful in getting cast in George Lucas' classic 1973 drama American Graffiti. Hamill would go on to beat out the likes of Kurt Russell, William Catt, and Robbie Benson for the part. When I first read the script, I thought it was hilarious, he admitted. I thought it was ahead of its time, with a heroine who was no damsel in distress. There's a lot of humor in it. Hamill clearly has not lost any affection for the role. One thing I love about the character is that we never see him the same way twice. Hamill goes on to discuss the different iterations of the character, from the teenage farm boy from Tatooine in 1977's Star Wars, Episode IV, A New Hope. There's nothing special about him, he's very relatable. Luke is the perfect entry level into the Star Wars universe for children, he recalled. Each time you see him, he progresses to a different kind of Luke. You think you have bad parents, what about Dad Vader? Return of the Jedi famously had Luke regain his father when Vader goes from the dark side back to the light. That was the end of my story, Hamill explained. So it was surprising for him to see where Luke was in his single, wordless scene at the end of The Force Awakens, broken and alone after Ward Kylo Ren had betrayed the new Jedi Order Luke had started. It is in The Last Jedi that more of Luke's new story will be revealed, but Hamill himself struggled with the new direction as written by director Ryan Johnson. He's in a much different frame of mind, a much different Luke than we've seen before, Hamill told Super. We're at a place now where I read the script and I was like, are you kidding me? It's time for the Jedi to end? This is not the Luke I knew and I said that to Ryan. He said, well, we want to push the envelope and give the people something they don't expect. I'm all for that but I said, I could see him being traumatized by what happened for years but a Jedi doesn't give up. I don't know what your definition of Jedi is, that's not my definition of Jedi. But Hamill did come around to follow Johnson's lead. But look, at the end of the day it's my job to take the script and do the best I can to realize the director's vision. I had to resist that because there's the George Lucas Star Wars and now there's this next generation of J.J. Abrams, and Ryan, who were little boys when the first film came out and are now in charge.